It's way colder than I thought it was gonna be. family is coming through with another video for you yay yay hold on I'm trying to find the the angle I think that's it let me see all right <laughs> welcome or welcome back to the channel my name is Jay and I hope you are having an amazing day we are out here at the beach we just got here we got a late start um, we did want to come out here a little earlier but we started making some breakfast, it turned into brunch, and then we still had to pack up and get everything ready. So we're about 40 minutes out from the beach. 25 minutes, no traffic, but there's traffic because it's the weekend. But anyways, hope everybody is doing okay. How is everybody doing? Drop those emojis telling us how you guys are doing. So. I feel like it's been such a long time since we actually dropped. I feel like we haven't dropped the vlog for you guys in a long time, but here we are. Um, we packed up some sandwiches. You know, we got five kids and it is not cheap if we go out to eat to restaurants and stuff like that. So we always try to make sure that we pack up stuff, um, snacks, food, all that. So let me show you what we got going on. Okay, so I packed up some sandwiches. The plain ones are for Brandon, and then the rest are for us. I packed you a sandwich too, baby. I made you a Nutella sandwich. Let's see, so we got some sandwiches. Nutella sandwich for Kehlani with the crust cut off. We got some fruit, we got some grapes. Bam! And we got some strawberries. Got the good stuff, you guys. We like to put this on our fruit. It is so good. It's like comparable to tahin, but this one doesn't have those little sticks, like the little seeds or the sticks in it. It's just the powder. We like this a lot. What else we got in that bag, boo? Some Doritos. Some Reese's popcorn. I think we got some barbecue chips oh, yeah, too, huh? I I oh, you didn't bring them? No, no, just pop those. I'm eating a sandwich. And it's just a plain sandwich too. I got the hoe. Regular, a regular, wait, no, you're right there. Regular side, hoe side. But it just hits different when you're at the beach, dude. I don't know why, I feel like it hits different. When we're at the beach. I know a little cold, but. So this part of the beach that we come to is not as um, as packed as you can see. If you go out more that way, that's where like everybody is. They hang out by the pier and all that. But we like this side, we like this part of it because it's like, there's no one ever here. So we really, really like it. And it has a little volleyball court right there. So when we come, Cassie's out of commission. She busted her Achilles, both of them. So they're not playing volleyball right now. This is where we come and this is where they get a lot of their practice in and stuff. But look at these beautiful homes, you guys. Like this is the dream. Do you guys know how much these houses are? Remember, we're in Southern California. Uh, we've looked at them on Zillow and on Google and stuff. And the price is outrageous and by outrageous we mean 6.5 million outrageous like it makes you wonder if um like were these houses inherited are they buying them like this like it's crazy but this is the dream right here you guys we would love 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 to live in a house like that and we looked it up and on zillow it is about 6.5 million dollars and i mean look we're in southern california and that's not even on the water it's literally on the boardwalk but it's not on the water so that's the kind of prices that we're looking at here now it is a nice area like extremely nice area this is orange county california southern california like i said earlier 
but look at how beautiful these houses are it's just amazing and i'm sure like most of them have like a deck or a patio a balcony up there i'm sure the view is amazing from up there but yeah like this is the dream if we could um when we could afford it this is gonna be this is gonna be the dream you guys well this is the dream but yeah so look at how beautiful everything is so peaceful uh you do see people you know using the boardwalk walking up and down riding their bicycles their vespas or whatever but yeah look at how gorgeous this beach living is comment down below do you guys have something like this where you're from like do you have something where like the houses are literally right there on the boardwalk and you have access to the beach and if so comment down below if you know, if you know like property prices and stuff like that i'm like so interested to know about what real estate prices are like you know other places because here we've been looking like we're interested in moving because as you know we live in a mobile home and we feel like we've outgrown it especially because we don't have a yard and stuff but but in the area that we're looking in to be honest like um the houses the cheapest house we can find in the area and the district everything that we want is like 550,000, 520, and that's like a raggedy old house that we would have to uh, put work into and stuff. So, um, yeah, real estate prices here in California are insane, insane. And we've, we've really like been considering like, okay, is it worth staying in California? Can he relocate with his job? Because right now I don't have a job other than this. Um, well, I mean, okay, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so that is my job. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys, like, it's insane. These houses are gorgeous, and they look like they are close to maybe 3,000 square feet of living space inside, but they don't have, like, a big yard because the other side is where the garage is, you guys. So they don't have a lot of yard. They don't have a lot of property other than that patio that you see and some of them they do have like different levels so they do have that space for the patio but this is insane i don't know if i can see myself living here like yeah i don't know if i can see myself living here right now but i would love to retire in a beach area like that would be that would be amazing I would love to find a house, um, not on the beach, but like a neighborhood like the beach, like very calm and quiet with property where we could uh, like grow vegetables or garden or whatever. A big enough plot to either already have a pool or build a pool and like a house that's big enough for all of us to have our own rooms and like maybe an office or something like that. And I do plan on growing our YouTube channel to like big, more focus. I'm taking it seriously. I am uploading every day. I really want to get some merch going. Um, you guys probably don't know this, but I am a jack of all trades. I have dibble dabbled in many things and one of them is a boutique online boutique that i own um it's kind of just been like stagnant for the past two years because once covid hit it was just hard for me well, i take that back my mom uh, after my mom passed then covid hit then all these things happened to where i just was unmotivated so i just kind of kept the inventory and never really um you know pursued having the boutique up and running again so um yeah i have a online boutique it's j Hart boutique we are on instagram i'm gonna link it down below and i have really been been thinking about um about rebranding and relaunching and getting new merchandise and you know just focusing on stuff like that and um yeah i don't know like i want to find the time and i want to actually do it like i'm ready to be successful i am ready for 
all my endeavors to just blow up you guys like i'm one of those people that like i've got a big fire in me and i don't want to i don't want to die with it inside of me so i'm like now i really really want to just focus on all my skills on all the things that i'm good at and i'm coming for you 2022 i'm coming for you but look at how cute look at this area has got the cutest little people well cutest people and families and it's just so peaceful a little cold but we don't want to go home just yet so we're just kind of trying to bear through it <laughs> we're training athletes out here future nfl star over here bam Future volleyball pro over here. We're missing one, but volleyball pro also. <laughs> yeah, he already has it in his head that he's gonna be in the NFL. And what team are you playing for? What team are you playing for? Eagles. So he already manifesting that in his head. We already have the school picked out. We already know what his game plan is. All he's gotta do is bulk up now. Bulk up and work hard. Get it. And this is after he broke his clavicle too, you guys. He's been uh, out of service, out of commission for like three months. Get it. You cold, baby? It is cold. We're, we'll be going home soon, so let's just enjoy our time, okay? <laughs> Cheesy blankie. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. We're just gonna have to wrap it up and, and get out of here. It's freaking cold. Finally, <laughs> finally, it got so freaking cold. We're getting out of here. <laughs> We're out of here. Oh my gosh, my hands are numb. Like, uh, oh, it's getting carried. <laughs> VIP service, <laughs> daddy's princess service, huh? <laughs> Daddy's little princess service. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I passed the limit. I'm pretty sure I carried you before. <laughs> Not for long periods of time. I mean, you could pick me up. I don't know if you could carry me. Okay. Everybody's getting ready to light those bonfires. Bon, B O N F I R E. I grew up. I grew up thinking they were bomb fires, like B O M B, but it's Bon, B O N. I know I'm not the only one. Oh, this feels so freaking good. I can feel the heat. <laughs> I can feel the heat. It says hot ass. Oh, hot ashes. <laughs> You can feel the warmth. This is a beautiful area. Ooh. Are you gonna knock out Kiwani? <laughs> oh, she's gonna knock out. <laughs> and this is just beautiful house after beautiful house after beautiful house. This whole boardwalk is full of beautiful properties. And then we got the little playground right here. And then you have the little, you've got the pier right there. 
Then you've got the restaurant all on the other side. Restrooms. Oh. Then we got the pier right here. We're about to go up. And you can see the water. See? We had to park a little far this time. We usually get parking up front, but we come during the week when there's no one here and it was a weekend, so it is jam-packed. Look at all those cars. But the side we go to is pretty calm and quiet. See, this is the pier. And then the part over there is where you can fish and all that. So the water. Beautiful. Look at that sunset. All right, y'all know what to do. Let's get, get this packed up so we can go. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. You do? Oh, that's what you oh my gosh, it was so cold. It feels so good in the car. But anyways. Thank you so much for watching and as always don't forget to subscribe and we love you bye